All right, hey guys, per request, this is a video about my opinion on what skills and chi spells you should be aiming to get on heroic mode and the path you should obtain. Also, weapon upgrades. Let me start by going to the skill menu here. Skills, not weapons. The katana mastery is the most important skill tree in the game. The katana is the most powerful weapon. Now the game will force you to get Divider of Heavens, so you'll automatically have that. Now Circle of Iron and Wing of Crane are not as good, so don't spend your points on those. All you need is Divider of Heavens. For the times that you would use these, you can use other weapons. This is the most overpowered skill in the entire game. This will heal you every single time you use Divider of Heavens. And since you'll be using it a lot, this is pretty much a required skill. So get this first, then that, and then get these, which increases the damage of your of your Divider of Heavens. With all these, you'll be able to kill enemies very easily. After that, I recommend immediately going and picking up Drain Soul. Now, I would only recommend this for heroic mode, simply because you can't because you can't save. You, this is basically a freebie if you go down once. Keep a demon heart on you. It'll let you kill one enemy and you'll basically get a last stand. This is also useful for survival mode. I'll just say this right now, the luck tree is completely useless. All these skills are worthless, don't even bother. Same with mind, except control pain are useful. After you get drain heart, it's really up to you at that point. I mean, I recommend getting the two Demon Slayer skills right after that. And got, basically, get Demon Slayers and God Slayers. Headhunter's not worth it on heroic mode. I find that the standard stamina is good enough for a while. So, while Quick Recovery and Quick Recovery 2 are very useful, after getting the damage upgrades, I re recommend getting Control Pain and medic, and doctor. You know, being able to stay alive is the most important thing on the road mode. After you get those, then go ahead and get all the stamina upgrades. Start with quick recovery. Recovery rate, regeneration rate, is more important than how much stamina you have, because having more stamina will just, if you use it all up, it'll take twice as long to charge, so it's better to have a faster recharge rate. After you get all those skills, the rest is really just up to you. I mean, Oh yeah, I do not recommend getting Soul Hunger. It'll basically give you two more seconds of Soul Drain Soul, which is pointless. This is useless. Rage is not worth it on heroic mode. Self-explanatory. You don't want to be at low health. These are all useless. Yeah. So basically, to sum it up. Max out Katana first, ignore Circle of Iron and Wing of Crane. Then get one level of Drain Soul, then get the damage upgrades here in Knowledge. Then get the Control Pains and Medic and Doctor. And finally go for the Stamina, and then after that's whatever. Divine Wind's useless too. Running is pointless compared to dashing. Now, let's move on to Chi Spells. To max out healing. Go up here first. You want protective fan as the first thing, then these. Which, whichever way you do it, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you max out healing first. Then go this way on Shockwave. You need Peaceful Storm to deal with the Katana Demons, the Warpers. You know, the ones with the long hair and the double swords. Because if they go into rage, you need to you need to turn that off or else you'll be in trouble. After that, you can go ahead and max out Shockwave, and then move on to Protection. By the time you reach Chapter 12, which is the first time Protection actually comes in handy, you'll have enough to fully max out Shockwave and Healing, and get two upgrades in Protection. You just want, you want this one and Endurance. Now the reason this is important for Chapter 12 is because of the train ride. You need this to block the explosions on the train. After that, 
just 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 upgrade the rest of protection. Flux is useless. Don't put one point into it. You don't want any points in flux. Now for weapons. Do not put any upgrades into the pistol. This weapon on heroic mode is useless. Most of the guns are too weak. You're gonna be using the katana 90% of the time. Divider of heavens. First upgrade I recommend getting is just get the match grade barrel. It's cheap. And the machine gun is useful for blowing up barrels and the flying enemies. That's about it. Don't get anything else. It's not worth it. Crossbow is the best weapon in the game besides the katana because of high strain system. This is extremely useful for mini bosses, long range enemies. It's the most powerful thing in the game that's not a rocket or the katana. Shotgun's crap. Does no damage. I do recommend getting the fire bombs. Now I do not know if the inferno mix actually increases damage or not. You know, for the fire bombs themselves. Hang on one moment. Okay. So get the fire bombs, and if you have the money, get the inferno mix. Because the flamethrower is not, it's not, it's good for not doing damage, but for basically keeping the enemies from attacking you, because sometimes they'll panic if you hit them with the fire. And fire bombs is a good AoE attack. Now the rocket launcher, I recommend getting laser guidance, heavy warheads, and if you have the money to spare multi-launch. And after that, just save your money for rocket ammo in the final battle in chapter 16, as you'll be using this a lot then. So yeah, just basically summarize we are using the katana for like almost the entire game for almost every battle I should say pistols useless machine guns useful for flying enemies and barrels that's it crossbows useful on mini bosses long range enemies it's actually pretty powerful in general if you don't want to use the sword shotguns crap flamethrower is good for large groups of enemies for I should say like you know, knocking enemies off, you know, getting them to panic. Although I don't really use it for that. It's, it's a good AoE attack if you don't want to use the rocket launcher. And the rocket launcher is just good against... You get it pretty late in the game, but it's useful against many bosses. It's really good against warpers, say, uh... Like, you can knock them down with shockwave, and then fire a rocket in the middle of them. It's useful for that. So yeah, that about sums it up. Um, for heroic tips in general, just, you know, be careful. You need to be able to sprint and charge your katana at the same time. I'll be making more videos later on. So, uh, if you have any videos, you know, you want to, if you have any requests, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and message me. So yeah.